This week's video will show how to use the angle grinder, a cutting dust shroud, and the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum to meet the crystal and silicon standards. This slide shows how Wilmar Electric Service will meet the crystal and silica standard when using hammer drills. This slide can be located in the safety reference folder and will also be posted at job boxes at various job sites. This slide shows how Wilmar Electric Service will meet the crystal and silica standard when using rig mounted core drills. This slide can be located in the safety reference folder and is also located on job boxes at various job sites. This slide shows how Wilmar Electric Service will meet the crystal and silica standard when using jackhammers or chipping tools. As you can see, APF10 mask is required for some of these activities and a picture of the mask is shown in this slide. This slide shows how Wilmar Electric Service will meet the crystal and silica standard when using the angle grinder to cut in boxes. As you can see, no protection is required when using a water system. However, if using a dust collection system, you must wear an APF10 mask when used indoors for more than four hours. The following slides will discuss parts of the operator's manual for the cutting dust shroud. Always wear a face or dust mask when working in dust situations. Dust particles can harm your lungs. The cutting dust shroud is compliant with Table 1 of OSHA standards for crystal and silica. Wear ear protection. Exposure to noise can cause hearing loss. This slide shows proper directions for attaching the shroud. Only install diamond abrasive wheels according to instructions. Flap disc and resin bonded grinding wheels are not acceptable for this shroud. To reduce the risk of injury, wear safety goggles or glasses with side shields and dust mask when using the angle grinder. When using the angle grinder, be sure to have your Milwaukee HEPA vacuum in the constant run position. In addition, make sure that the throttle of the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum is at full max. When to use the Milwaukee angle grinder, unravel the hose from the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. Once you have the hose unwound from the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum, disconnect the attachment and use the same attachment to connect to the Milwaukee angle grinder shroud. Make sure to leave the shroud loose on the angle grinder so that the angle grinder can go up and down as you use it. This will ensure that all dust gets captured while using the angle grinder. In this video, you can see how the angle grinder moves with the shroud kept loose. As you cut, the grinder will slowly grind into the block. Once you have reached the full depth, you can return to the starting position and move to another area to cut block.